Okay, so I'm a big fan of E uh, for many reasons. Uh, first, my name has two E's, and then you can also see right here and uh, have a look over there. So I think that should be enough proofs. But anyway, though, I came up with an exponential triangle question for you guys. Let's let me show you. All right, so I'm going to just look at this right triangle, and I was just wondering if it's possible for us to find x value so that here we have e to the x, and then here we have a little bit longer, so let's make this e to the 2x, and let's make this even longer than that, so e to the 3x. Is it possible? Well, as you know it, as always, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay. Of course, this is possible, because otherwise, how can we continue with this, right? Because this is a right triangle, so of course, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's just look at the sum of these two squares and then make that equal to the square of this, right? So we will look at e to the x and we square that and then we add this square and then we are going to make this equal to that, which is e to the 3x and then we will have to square that. Cool. So now we look at this and we can just simplify this, right? So for example, this right here is e to the 2x and then multiply the power so e to the 4x and then this is equal to e to the 6x so if we can solve uh, this equation then we will be done now to make this slightly easier we are going to just divide everybody by e to the 2x so i will just write this down let's just go ahead and divide everybody by e to the 2x and we can do this without any worry because e to the 2x this right here is never equal to zero so we can totally divide so we can just look at the equation as e to the well in chinese it's also e but this right here is actually e i mean one <laughs> plus this right here is e to the 2x and then this right here is equal to e to the 4x so it's better huh but let me tell you this is right here it's actually great because now we actually have a quadratic equation in terms of e to the 2x because this right here, it's the same as saying e to the 2x and then square. And this right here is, of course, e to the 2x. And then, of course, over there we have 1. So I'm going to just move them to the other side. And let's write this down first. So we look at e to the 2x and then square. And then minus. And uh, we have e to the 2x. And then we have uh, minus 1. And that's equal to 0. So right here, let's just go ahead and use the quadratic formula, but we will have to make this input right here, e to the 2x. And that's going to be equal to, okay, negative b, so we have negative negative 1, like so. And then plus or minus square root of negative b, so it's negative 1, and then square minus 4 times a is 1, and then c is negative 1. Ah, like this and then all divided by 2 times 1 2 times a yeah cool and now we will just work this out have a look this is e to the 2x and that's equal to 1 plus or minus this is 1 and then plus 4 so it's 5 in the square root and then all over 2 all right e to the 2x in fact it's always positive so there's no way for us to be using this negative right here. Like 1 minus square root of 5, which is bigger than 1. So we will have to get rid of that. No complex triangle here, okay? So just the real values. So in fact, we have e to the 2x. Oh, man, I should put down my golden um, ratio t-shirt. But no, let's just look at e. e to the 2x is equal to this. So in fact, we can just take the natural log on both sides. Right, because we have e to the 2x equals, let's put this as the golden ratio, why not? Right, just notice this is the golden ratio. Honorable mention, this is approximately 1.618. All right, and then let's just go ahead and take the natural log on both sides, cancel this, and then we have 2x equal to ln phi, and then divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 1 half, and then ln phi, and if you would like, you can put the one half to here, make that into an exponent, and the one half exponent becomes the radical. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is ln square root of phi. Wow. So, 
if today you want to create an exponential right triangle like this, all you have to do is put square root of put ln of square root of v into all the x's, then you can solve that. But maybe if you simplify it, you can tell me the actual size of the right triangle. Right? Just go ahead and plug that into here, then you'll see that yeah, they cancel things out pretty nicely. Yeah, because E and L can solve. But anyway, hopefully it gets all like this.